Which one are we using this time? And... You've gone through the trouble of stealing away my time. So this must be of appropriate value, no? can do is shrivel away under this lion's gaze. I get how you feel, bro. If you stay quiet like that, the princess's mood will change in a snap. I know that! And who are you calling bro? Isn't that obvious? I'm talking about you. Be quiet, Al. I am the one making conversation here. When did I ever give you permission to interrupt? Right, right. I'm shutting up now. First off, thank you for granting us this audience. Cease your pointless preambles. Do not waste my precious time. Be quick about it and get to the point. G got it. Uh, then first, take this. I thought it'd be rude to visit empty-handed, so we brought a gift. I got them from a stall I'm fond of. I can guarantee their quality. Not to mention... What now? I thought they might pique your interest in some way. Al? Yeah, yeah, I'll take a look at it. This is your gift to the princess? Yep. You can inspect it to your heart's content, but that won't change what it is. Inspect it? Hey, little lady. Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? No, there is no mistake. That is exactly what Subaru bought. Oh, come on. What is it, Al? Don't just stand there in confusion for so long. Show me what they brought. That's, uh, well, I'd love to, but I think it'd just anger you, Princess. I can't imagine you being too thrilled over this. I shall be the one to decide as such. Do not make me repeat myself, Al. Yes, Your Highness. This is what they've gifted you. Don't let it turn out like that, please! Managed not to start this off with a blunder by gifting them to me ripened and unpeeled like this. Hmm. Still, though. What is it, Al? Is there an issue? No, I 
No, it's fine for you to eat something after it's been checked for poison. But it kind of excites me when I think how you're basically eating my leftovers. Fool. Ow! But my armor doesn't protect me there! It's only natural for my beauty to arouse men. But do not announce it each time. Indulge yourself in silence. I will not forbid your mind to ruminate on such affairs. Doing so would only be cruel. So, you'll let me conjure up as many indecent thoughts as I want, Princess? As expected, that's what I love about- Ooh! I told you not to speak of it. You have a rather interesting master-servant relationship. Is Sir Al your knight, Miss Priscilla? Him? My knight? Do not make me laugh. He is but a mere jester who entertains me, so I keep him nearby. In that sense, that half-devil girl is doing the same. Do not tell me this commoner is her knight. I may not be her knight, but don't ever call Amelia a half-devil again. I won't allow it. Are you commanding me? I will only forgive such impudence once, in light of your merit in gifting the Abbas. My kindness will not be exerted a second time. The same goes for you. Amelia is a half-elf. You have no right to call her a half-devil. Hmm. <laughs> Subaru. Uh, Princess, this conversation isn't really going anywhere. So, maybe you ought to show some leniency here? Are you telling me to you, Al? I know you think it means the same as losing, but I think showing some tolerance here would be a big win for you. No? I'm sure you'd get a little on edge if people started mocking you for your chest size behind your back, wouldn't you? My breasts represent my abundant heart. Why would I ever get upset about anyone pointing that out? Uh, uh, really? Man, to be honest, I've been internally calling out your big boobs all the time, but that's- No! <coughs> my jester's antics have swayed my interest. I will pretend I never heard you. Hey, wait, what about our meeting? Subaru, please step back. Rem? This demi-human maid of yours seems to be far more composed. You must find it quite agitating dealing with a companion like him. Rem stays with Subaru by choice. <laughs> I cannot understand how you see some charm in such a commoner. I have received your gift of Abbas, and your faces have been looked over by my eyes. You may return from this audience with that honor. That is all I have left to say. I have no intention of wasting any more of my time on you. W wait a minute! Let me ask you one thing. Have you ever heard of a man called Wolf? No. Are you satisfied? 
satisfied? It, yeah, that'll do. Then make haste and be gone before I change my mind. Let me escort them outside. Be sure to leave some apples for me, princess. <laughs> Man, I thought you were a goner for sure at the end there, bro. Huh? What's up? Why are you and the little lady so quiet? You managed to escape the lion's den alive. Shouldn't you be thrilled about that? What? Huh? What's there to be happy about? Whoa! What's with all the shouting? That was so scary. I seriously thought she'd kill me. How the hell can you serve under that woman? Whoa there. You became way too blunt the moment we stepped out of the manor. I do get how you feel. And to answer your question, I'm working for the princess because she's so sexy and beautiful. It's kind of freaky how superficial that answer is. Or maybe I should actually be impressed that you toe the line every day just for that reason? You're so different from me. Who works hard for the cute and adorable Mealy? Wait, hold on. Are we actually the same? <laughs> well, that's just how men are, bro. However, I am glad that you are safe. Rem thought it would be the end for us as well. You too, Rem? Sorry for doing something so risky. But I had to ask her that. If you thought it was necessary, then I would not have stopped you. But I just ask that you please take care of yourself in the process. Otherwise, Rem cannot help but worry. I couldn't have done this alone. You were there with me, Rem. What did Rem do? You were by my side through it all. So I figured you'd just take care of everything if something went down. Subaru, thank you for having faith in me. Whoa, 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 whoa wait, wait a, a minute! minute. That plan is way too reliant on other people. Little lady, you shouldn't be so willing to accept that. I don't like that it's coming from you, but I can't deny it. I'll try to handle things on my own next time. No, it's okay. Rem wants to work extra hard for Subaru's sake. Moreover, please do not take that away from me. If Rem is not helpful to you, Rem will kill you and follow soon after. Could you say such a thing and still be so cute? Boy, she must really care about you. I'm getting jealous. I am positive you will experience the same at some point as well, Sir Al. Your first step would be to find a more appropriate occupation. That's pretty proper advice. It may not seem like it, but the gig I got is already a steady gig, you know? As Miss Priscilla's jester? You're starting to make me doubt myself when you ask so sincerely. Priscilla didn't even budge when I mentioned Wolf's name. But 
anyone would be surprised when caught off guard, Priscilla didn't have any such reaction. Saving! Where do you want to start? Priscilla didn't even budge when I mentioned Wolf's name. But anyone would be surprised when caught off guard. Priscilla didn't have any such reaction. Well, that's how it seemed to me anyway. I don't believe what I'm seeing with my own eyes. I'll never know what to base my decisions on, and I'll keep faltering at every step. However... Anastasia was attacked by Wolf, which gives her a point in her favor. And Priscilla didn't seem to know who I was talking about. Then does that mean it's actually Crochet? Do I really suspect her? Honestly, I never gave it much thought before. Suspect her so I can trust her, huh? Damn, I sound so hypocritical when I actually say it out loud. You know, I've been thinking about how the way you refer to yourself is pretty confusing. Confusing? What do you mean? Well, your name is Rom, right? So why do you refer to yourself as Rem? Hmm? Sir Al? No, I am the one who is confused. Rem's name is Rem. Rem is Rem's older sister's name. I beg your pardon, but are you familiar with Rem's twin sister? Don't joke like that. You are Rom, aren't you? No, Rem would have no reason to joke about something like that. Apologies, but Rem is most assuredly Rem. Don't mess with me. What's going on? What's gotten into you two all of a sudden? Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that Sir Al's expression... Al? But we'll talk later. Rem! Oh, uh, yes. Excuse us, Sir Al. 
So that's how it is. I don't believe it. Makes me sick. <sighs> Damn it! Where'd he get off to? There's just no way! Subaru! Please calm down. Who exactly are you looking for? A, a huge guy dressed in black. His name is Wolf. He's an enemy of ours. <laughs> Nothing. I know this is sudden, but he's super dangerous. If we don't stop him, we all could be in danger. Very well. Huh? We need to apprehend this dangerous man, correct? Then we should hurry. Yeah, let's go. But it's way too dangerous to split up. We should... Not bad. <laughs> but why are you chasing me? I'll be pretty insulted if you think I'm suspicious just because of how I look, you know. I was just talking to someone who looked pretty suspicious. But your sketchiness is on a whole different level. Children would get scared and cry seeing someone like you roam the streets at night. We're gonna drag you to a guard station right now. Whoa there, that's a bit irrational. Just leave me be. The royal capital's a lively and splendid place. What's wrong with cutting loose and dressing up like this from time to time? That's really all there is to it. Rem, be careful. He may say that, but... Please, be at ease, Subaru. Rem will not lend an ear to the words of an enemy. Oh. You're carrying around something pretty scary there, little girl. You should explain to the guy behind you I'm not here to fight. Is that all you have to say? What? 
As you can see, it is difficult for Rem to hold back. So it would be wise to speak your last words while you can. <laughs> I see, right, gotcha. You're even worse than that guy. Your inability to listen to others is really troubling. <laughs> if you won't let me go, then I don't really have much of a choice. Let's have at it! at all. You speak too much. Shut your noisy mouth. What am I, stupid? Don't just assume all I can do is watch. Find some way to help. happening. You knife throwers all aim for the forehead.
Did we do it? It was a direct hit, but we should not let our guard down. Rem, he might have an ability that lets him steal mana from his opponent. Be careful. Steal mana? Understood. Then... Close your eyes if you wish, Subaru. This is Rem's duty. But I will not allow you to do any more harm. Swallows me whole. Subaru! No! A crying voice reaches what's left of my ears. A pale glow appears, cold water pouring all over my filleted body. The cool relief is gone as quickly as it washed over me. The water evaporates instantaneously, swallowed by the flames erupting off me. My body continues to fry. My arms, legs, and face are beyond repair. No, stop! Please, just... Please, stop! Pale hands shake my broiling body. Naturally, the flames dance upon the hands, too. It must be excruciating. Yet they refuse to let go. Despite being beyond the point of no return, they try to rescue me. Please, I'm begging you. Just stop. Worry about yourself. If you don't... Super Hill! Super Hill! If you don't... Super Hill! If you don't, the villain behind you will... <laughs> voice stops calling for me. Have my eardrums been completely fried? Or did something happen to the voice's owner? 
I hope it's just my ears. Please, just let it be my ears. Don't let harm befall the crying girl. Please. I must ensure her victory. Please, tell me it's just my ears that aren't working. Please. I can write it down. Kid! Are you even listening? This conversation's over. Come on, move it! I'm running a business here. Uh. Subaru, are you okay? If you do not have enough, Rem does not mind paying. Okay. 
Please take a deep breath. Rem is right here with you. to normal you surprised me for a second there if you two kept flirting in front of my shop I'd have gotten even less customers come my way than I already do is that supposed to make me laugh here's the payment I apologize for any trouble we may have caused no trouble at all as for you you need to be more aware of your surroundings. Yeah, I'll be more careful. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I don't think we'll be back so soon. Sorry about earlier. You really helped me out back there. Subaru, no matter what state you appear to be in, I will never look down on you. Even if you tremble like a child with tears and mucus running down your face, you are still admirable. I don't know if that make me look too admirable, then. I wouldn't want to break myself down that much, either. Of course. Rem would prefer to see your gallant side as well. <sighs> Just plain old me. You're amazing, Rem. But you are more amazing, Subaru. Complimenting each other like this is nice, but we don't have any time to waste. Rem, this might be a weird question, but we just met up with Sakura in front of the shop, right? Yes, we did see Miss Sakura. She previously visited the manor as an emissary of Miss Melty's camp. So that means... There's still a lot I don't understand about my ability, but... I don't even know who's behind all this. So I can't keep relying on my ability.
I need to think about this positively. Rem, I'm going to Priscilla's Manor now. I know where it is, but there's something else waiting for me there. Something else? It's what I mentioned at the tavern earlier, about someone going after Anastasia. I want to warn Priscilla, but... I have a feeling that guy will show up there. Then you will be warning Miss Priscilla as well? I'd like to say yes, but... I need to prepare. Will you join me, Rem? Yes! Please tell me what you would like me to do. See that? Yes. So that is the suspicious person you mentioned earlier. Hmm. Let's go after him. Are we not to engage him here? It'd be good if we were able to just talk to each other, but I highly doubt it'll play out that way. And if a fight were to break out here, he could end up running out into the open and getting a bunch of innocent people involved. Ideally, I'd like to find out who he's working for, but if that's not possible, then I'd like to contain our brawl somewhere it won't involve anyone else. Understood. Rem also prefers to battle somewhere where there is no interference. Where is he going? No, I shouldn't make assumptions here. can't lose him, and we definitely can't let him see us. That makes trailing someone all the more difficult. So, you ready? Yes, Rem is ready. 
All right, good. Then let's go. Something's off. Subaru? After him? I will, but I think we've gotten a little too close. That guy's extremely dangerous, so let's keep some distance between us, just in case. I see. Understood. Let us take care not to get too close then. Huh? You need a weapon? Well, all this scrap line around should be better than nothing. be a coincidence. Hmm? You want something else? All I can think of is using the scrap scattered around here. Subaru, we may lose sight of him if we are too far behind. <sighs> Good point. If he turns that corner, we'll definitely lose him too. There he goes! Rem, let's keep going after him. We need to get to that corner. Understood. We should hurry, Subaru. 